Okay, part two of the Miller Chiropractic Minute. Um, let me reiterate that this is a lifestyle change. And think of it as a lifestyle change, not as a diet, because diets don't work. Um, so when we are talking about how to do this, it has to be done. You have to eat five or six times a day. I am a five time a day -er. Breakfast has to be the largest meal because you will need, you require the most calories from that point in time of the day to the end of the day. Then I eat about 200 calories at, I eat at 7, I eat at 9, I eat at 11, 30, 12, then I eat again at 3, and then I eat again at 4, 5, and then I finish up at 7. So when we're talking about that, the Breakfast is large, the mid-morning snacks, a couple hundred calories. Usually it's almonds. Um, if I'm doing a lot of training, I do like a little chocolate. Um, and I'll have, have uh, I'm not talking about M&Ms and, and, you know, junk chocolate, high fructose corn syrup. I've pretty much eliminated that out of my life. That stuff is just garbage. Um, and then uh, lunch, like I said, is salad, protein. Uh, sometimes I do go to the Oriental restaurant, steamed broccoli, um, stuff that's not fried, not heavily sauced. I eat that stuff. On occasions, if I've been really, really good, some general shows or something like that. But not every day, not even every other day, not even two or three times a week. Once a week, once every two weeks, that's about it. Um, and guess what? I'm not dying because of it. The next thing is, um, that's lunch, usually some almonds or some, you know, some diversity, a uh, hammer, hammer bar, something like that in the afternoon. And then evening, whatever Christine makes that's clean eating. She made some chicken tortilla soup. Oh, that stuff was awesome. It rocked. Um... The next thing I want to talk about, and I really want to hit this hard because I do functional medicine and I see this all the time. Food is a drug. Fake food is crack. You get addicted to it, it screws up your body, and it hurts you. When I say that, I mean it hurts you, it hurts your kids. People that eat fake food fall asleep right after they eat it because usually it has a lot of sugar in it you go into that hypoglycemic lull and you fall asleep you run out of energy and then you gotta eat something else and usually it's more junk food fake food whatever you want to call it the biggest thing about this stuff is is when you take it in if it's full of chemicals and your liver cannot process it then your liver takes it and packs it in the fat cell and puts it into the body. Two things happen with this. One is you become toxic. Number two is as that is in the fat cell, they now show in studies that adipose, the adipocyte fat, is pro-inflammatory. It sends out chemical messengers and chemical markers that cause you to hurt physically physically hurt you rarely see a person in good health I'm not going to say a thin person I'm going to say a person in good health that has fibromyalgia chronic fatigue usually if you take somebody that is thin that has these and you do a bio impedance analysis you do a functional medicine assessment you will see that their body composition is way off skew. A lot of times these people are people who have taken fad diets. Um, they take diets that give them fake food to help them lose weight. And all that does in the long run is changes body composition, screws up your hormones, and puts you in a world of hurt. It has taken me a year. A year of very hard work to go from 270 pounds down to 230 pounds, 31. And 
I'm still working on it. I want to get down to 200. I'd like to get down to 200. Um, my coach says if I really want to qualify for Kona, that's where I need to be. <laughs> um, so it, it's one of those things where this is a work in progress. And think of it this way, people. We're all works in progress. Whether you choose to make the Taj Mahal or a shanty shack is up to you. You replace 100% or sorry, you replace 99% of the atoms in your body every year. You can replace them with good stuff or you can replace them with bad stuff. That choice is yours and yours alone. Nobody makes you eat the way that you eat. With that, thank you for your time once again. Go out and play. Get your kids out there and play. If you get tired and you get fatigued, you're not playing enough. So go out and play every day. Eat good meals. Teach your kids. If you don't know what to eat and how to eat, start here. And once you start here, then learn. She's got five or six books out. And it's good. It's a it, great set of guidelines. So, as my coach says, uh, train smart, be healthy, eat right. <laughs> Do the things that you know help you. Have a good day.